Hi once again. This time we've got a British phone. This was introduced in about the 1979 to 1980s. This actual job I think was actually dated 80 stroke 1, so first month 80. It's called, or the designation, is 1 stroke 772. It was called the Express Call Maker. Uh, this was brought out, as I say, by the post office, as I think it was called then. Distinct buttons. The idea was you could store up to 18 digits on any one of the 10 buttons. You had a T which was the transmit button and P for programming. I think it's fairly complicated to program this one but anyhow it does work. The other feature with this it uses or used to use a battery secondary number 23. Well obviously those batteries are not available any, <laughs> anymore. I think they they were probably made by Varta and obviously were plentiful then but now they're not so you have to make up your own battery pack the, the, let's have a look, look the case is the updated uh, 746 type case with that dip in there so the handset stays firm and doesn't ride up and get disconnected Let's have a little look inside. If I can, yeah, I can undo it with one hand. And this is really a complicated, intricate phone. Mainly the keypad, which has lots of things on it. Because it does um, programming and that, you've got additional chips. You've got transistors, a ferrite core transformer, capacitors. I shan't be taking the the um, keypad off. We can look at the side if I can see. There's what's in this on the side. You've got. If I put it somewhere where it makes it clearer. You've got your two relays there by Claire. They, as far as I know, would probably pulse to give you your numbers. This is, by the way, uh, pulse. It's not tone. So when you press the button, you, you get the number of pulses per what the button says. It is packed tight with stuff. The battery would obviously fit in there somehow. As you can see I fitted um, a readily obtained rechargeable battery off of eBay and wired it in. It's line powered so um, all the while this is plugged in you're getting a trickle charge to keep the batteries fully charged. And obviously this one hasn't been used for a while. I will bring it into service. It's nice to go around and sort out certain phones and put up. Hopefully this will recharge again. And after it's recharged, you'll get your pulsing. So that is the phone. Let's have a look it's got on the back. I think this model, if I can turn it around and get it the right way around. There's what's on the back. It says use battery number. It's post office authorised release. So I think these were on trial at some time, like an experimental job. 
but there's a number 772 GNA I believe that is probably the code of General Electric not too sure but it could be 80 stroke 1 is obviously the year and the date that is more or less it any questions on it please ask I'll try and get back don't ask me how to program these there is a write up on Google under British Telephones thing and, and I can't, can't understand it perhaps I'm thick but anyhow not to worry you got your standard type of handset in fact the case was made for a normal circular dial you've got a number there on, on the case and the this has got its locking nut and spring which is unusual now often these get missed so if you ever take this type of cover off 746 don't have to unscrew the screw right out just loosen it off and then it'll come out this one went on fairly easily but a lot of the ones that have got dials tend to be a bit tricky they're not as easy as the American 500 types the American types are much easier to take the case off anyhow I'm going off the subject so um, anyhow once again thanks for uh, watching the video and um, I shall put this on in service and see if it charges up so we've got another phone to show on YouTube. Thanks for watching. Thank you.